Hey guys, so so this is another Friday vlog video for Friday, July 13th, 2012. Well, for uh, this vlog video, I'm just going to vlog about uh, lawn disease, like in your lawn, which everybody will have to deal with lawn disease every now and then. Which this is kind of a, an example here of a lawn disease. So this, I would assume that this is possibly a, a brown patch lawn disease. It's usually not very common to actually have a brown patch in your lawn in your yard in the summertime. It's most commonly like in the fall. I think in the summer, like if you have it in the summertime, it could most likely just be caused by lack of water from your lawn. So there's other kinds that could also types of diseases that could also could be caused by uh, bugs too, such as you know tinch bugs and uh, also even grub worms, grub worms too. That can cause some problems with your grass. It can kind of result in a disease, sort of like this. And uh, even believe it or not, even with with people using a uh, a chemical or synthetic fertilizer, is what some people call them. Sometimes using them, you seem to have uh, more problems with diseases with them. You seem to have less diseases if you use uh, an organic fertilizer, which that's what I have heard from uh, some garden experts. See, and sometimes what could even cause uh, diseases is sometimes by watering, usually at the wrong time of the day, like for instance, uh, late at night. I don't know what the cause is, but that's what I've heard. Even watering late at night could even could cause a a disease. I think most likely a, a fungal disease. Now the best stuff that I like to use for like repairing like a lawn disease, especially for a brown patch, is just uh, use a cornmeal. Yeah, just actual cornmeal that you would use, you know, in the kitchen for like making cornbread. But there's also a, uh, a horticultural grade cornmeal, which that you can only find at at any garden nursery. It'll work a little bit better than just regular cornmeal. So yeah, sometimes just by trying water it more often, sometimes that could, could cure the disease. But I would just use just a you know, disease, lawn disease uh, products that could help uh, cure a lawn disease. Now, mostly, what could even could cause a lawn disease is uh, by mowing your lawn with a dull blade on your lawnmower. Now, that can actually could cause a lawn disease too because with a dull blade it won't even cut the grass. It'll actually will just tear up the grass. It'll just rip up the the blades of the grass and which that will cause it to turn brown, which that can cause water loss on the grass, which that'll make it more susceptible for lawn disease. And uh, so again, just to prevent any kind of disease like in your lawn, like if it's caused by, you know, just with the weather and insects, it's just water your lawn regular, regularly and and also fertilize your grass, whatever is recommended. Usually the general rule of thumb is fertilize your yard uh, twice a year. Do it in like in mid to late spring and then fertilize again in early fall in which that way you'll have nice grass and 
should have no problems with diseases in your lawn. So that's all I could really think of in this vlog. So I'm gonna, right now I'm going to go inside the house because it's really hot outside. So I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all next Friday. So thanks for watching.